Hello. Hi, everybody. Kayla Lord. John Brownstone. Of Loving BDSM, where we help kinksters like you have happy, healthy power exchange relationships. Uh, for us and for many kinksters, that involves sex toys um, mm -hmm. and all kinds of sexy play and fun. And I kind of noticed something about us uh, recently. Oh. We mostly talk about vibrators and toys for your penis masturbators and cock rings mostly mm. and that's because that's what we enjoy mm. but that's not the only thing out there no it's not so when two separate companies were like hey we would love to send you uh these new toys for you to talk <laughs> about them which is how we got them uh i was normally i say no to these and then i was like wait there are we have plenty of people in our audience who are like but actually i'm into uh, the booty and all things the booty. And so I thought we would try something new for us. If y'all mm -hmm. hate it, we'll never do it again. If you like it, maybe we'll do more of it. And instead of giving you a review, since these are not toys that we would normally play with, mm -hmm. we would do an unboxing and talk about them and sort of discover them with you for the first time. <laughs> and then uh, if you are interested in them, of course we'll have links to them, but just to kind of see what's out there. Uh, this is a tale of two butt plugs. <laughs> <laughs> and what's funny, because we did not plan this, they came at about the same time and they've been sitting on the shelf staring at us accusingly, um, <laughs> is they kind of could not be more different. I know. So it's, you know, you can have sex toys of all kinds of different styles and appearances and colors and power levels. But also sometimes I think people have sort of their own sex toy personality and what you gravitate towards in general. And mm -hmm. uh, I think we're going to... We're going to hit a spectrum of uh, butt plug uh, personality <laughs> with this one. So we are going to unbox them. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about them. And if hope they have enough charge, we can turn them on. If not, we'll have to stop, charge them, come back, blah, blah, blah. But mm -hmm. let's see what happens. So let's start first okay. with our favorite sex toy brand. Mm. Favorite. This is almost a little sad that this is not one we would play with because we just don't play with butt plugs anymore. But that is the new... Uh, butt plug from Hot Octopus. They call it Plex with Flex. So here's what they say about it. Um, it is a flexible butt plug, hence hmm. the flex thing. Um, and it comes with their treble and bass technology, which Ooh. we have enjoyed that in the past. Right. Uh, I've used their curve vibrator and you, there's two different forms of vibration and sensation mm -hmm. the jet the jet which looks like a jetpack for our penis yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, so yeah you now also get that in a butt plug so let mm. us open this up Doo -doo -doo, opening it up did i take it out of the envelope in the box the big box already of course i did uh but here we are opening it up so it's pretty simply packaged it just looks like that mm -hmm. it's got an instruction manual and a quick like get start kind of guide to it should we look through that yeah probably. probably are we gonna no you get a diagram of what everything is and looks like um that one tells you kind of how to use it okay yeah it shows uh, it, you what the different vibration settings are there are six vibration settings um it does come with a remote control quite handy when yep. you're doing uh butt plug mm -hmm. stuff because once you get it up there uh, now it, it tells you in here that the Plex mm -hmm. itself is waterproof, but the remote is not. Don't put this underwater, but go yep. ahead and put this underwater. It mm -hmm. is rechargeable. The port to recharge is back here. Let me get my head out of the way so maybe you can actually see. Um, now this I find Ooh. interesting. Oh yeah, and, it's kind of flexible. Yeah. You got to work it a little bit, but... In, in the quick start instructions, there is a QR code for video instructions. Oh, hello, uh, huh, Octopus. Mm. Right? <laughs> I, I kind of like that. So the on-off button is also on the bottom here. So I would imagine it is probably a turn it on here and then mm -hmm. use the remote. Uh, it is very soft um, silicone. It does exactly oh, yeah. what you want a butt plug to do, which is tapered tip for comfortable entry, mm -hmm. wide here, tapered down, and a flared base. 
I don't care what you decide to stick up your butt for anal play. If it does not have a flared base, please don't stick it up right. there. Things do get sucked up the butt. Uh, <laughs> and then that's when you're going to the ER and having to have that uncomfortable conversation for them to get it out. Yeah. So when in doubt, just use something that's an actual butt plug. Uh, but if you're gonna use something homemade DIY, uh, make sure it has the base. Okay, so how do we turn it on? Yeah, we're gonna read the instructions mm. as to how to turn it on. So, okay, that's turning off. It's turning on. So press power button for, for two, two seconds. seconds. Which one is the power button? Oh, it's this Up little side. side button. Okay, let's see. Can can you see it? Can you see it? That little button. So we press and hold. And you're gonna pr turn this on before you stick this up your butt. Okay, it did a little. J j yep. Okay, now you can, to start motors, pr short press treble or bass button on toy or hold treble or bass button on remote for two seconds. Ooh, okay, which button was that? That was treble. And y'all can hear this. Super quiet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's add some bass. Let's add some bass. Okay. That is, I've got it right next to the microphone, so it might sound louder to me. Move it away. It's super quiet. Yeah, it is. If you're not familiar with butt plugs, once you get them up your butt, you're not going to hear this. Mm -hmm. You're not going to hear this. They might hear you crying out with hopefully pleasure. Right. Uh, <laughs> if you're crying out in pain, uh, add more loop. Uh, <laughs> so as this is a silicone uh, sex toy, you can definitely use a water-based lube. You can definitely use a hybrid lube, which is water-based and silicone-based kind of together. Silicone lubes with silicone toys tend to be iffy. Mm -hmm. If you question whether this is a high quality silicone, don't use silicone lube. Uh, I trust Hot Octopus uh, brand and their silicone products. I would be fine using a silicone lube. Technically, you should also be able to use an oil-based lube, but this would not be the time to DIY your oil-based lube yeah. and act like don't pull your canola oil out of your pantry. Yes, people do that. <laughs> uh, actually purchase a an oil-based lube that's formulated to be a lube, um, and you should be fine. This, oh, the base is, yes, very, yeah. very nice. Yeah, ah, I like this. Let's, let's kick it up a notch. Okay, I'm putting it by the mic. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, I know this is a butt plug. I would put this on my clit. More sex toys than you realize tend to be dual use. You can mm -hmm. use them more body parts than whatever they advertise for. I do that all the time with G-spot vibrators. I'm like, I don't care about my G-spot. I care about my clit. And then I just put it there. It is um, vibrating from the tip mm -hmm. to the base. You are going to feel it all the way up. This curve tends to be considered very good for anybody with a prostate because you have a better chance of it vibrating right against right your against prostate spot uh you have had a few prostate um orgasms in the past yes how do they compare with your typical orgasm um they are definitely more intense do you like them better or is it just different um and more intense it's, it's different more intense um some cases more sustained Okay, okay. Oh, now here's the thing, and I don't know that this is what it's intended to do, but it's what it's doing. So um, um, imagine that's my butthole. Okay, when I squeeze, the vibration actually gets more rumbly. I'm not mm. sure that's what it's meant to do, but pop it in your butt and clench because you're going to be clenching. <laughs> right. That's what happens. <laughs> uh, and you might get some really deep, deep rumblies. Cool. So if you have never used a vibrating butt plug before, but you've used regular butt plugs, mm -hmm. the in my opinion, the benefit to these, other than extra sensation, every time I used to use a vibrating plug back in the day, which was very similar to the other one we're gonna unbox, uh, it actually helped me relax a little bit more and it went in a little bit easier because the stimulation and sensation was so good just mm -hmm. on the outside as it was just coming near my butt that I could relax a little bit. I prefer vibrating versions if i was gonna do anal play. it's been literal years y'all mm -hmm. um we just it's not that we dislike it it's that we just there's so many other things we want to do and we're not that interested anymore but man butt plugs are cool butt plugs are very cool mm -hmm. okay so to turn it off it mm -hmm. says to do what 
Returning to standby mode. Option one, short press a trace treble or bass on the toy or hold treble or bass button on remote for two seconds. We're gonna use the remote. Okay, that went off. And then you do the next one. And then that went off. Mm -hmm. And then I press and hold the power button for two seconds. There you go. And it must be off because nothing's happening. Okay. okay, so that is the Plex with mm -hmm. Flex from Hot Octopus. Um, for anybody who wonders, the insertable length is just over four inches. The circumference from the thinnest area to the widest area is uh, anywhere from two and a quarter to three and three quarter inches. It retails for $99.95 US dollars. But we have a coupon code if you are interested. If you use coupon code Kayla10, you'll save 10% off. That coupon is good through the end of 2021. Once we get to 2022, I'll try and get another coupon code. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is a Plex with Flex. It's got all the amazing power and rumbliness of the hot octopus toys that we love. Yep. But for your booty. Now also in the box is a nice little storage bag. And the charging cable. And a USB charging cable. Whoop, whoop. The nice whoop. thing about <laughs> the nice thing about um, hot octopus charging cables is while they might not be interchangeable with other brands, they t tend to be interchangeable with one another. So yeah. if you have multiple uh, hot octopus toys and can't find a charging cable, another one will usually work. So let's uh, put this back in, and this is how it came. And it is uh, elegant and powerful. My hands are still kind of <laughs> vibrating. And yeah, if I was doing some anal play, I would have no problem with that. I think that would be really, really, really nice. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Okay, so the next one could not be more different if it just even tried hard. <laughs> this one uh, is Fun Beads by Fem mm. Fun. We have not tried this brand before. I have two vibrators sitting off to the side waiting for me. Just like, lady, would you please <laughs> masturbate? Because we would like to find out if you, we like you too. <laughs> uh, when you open the top, this is what you see. Now, uh, like I said, could this be any more different than mm. Flex and Flex? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me pull it out. Oh, wow. Now, it is also, this is more flexible, I yeah. would say. This is like super, super floppy and bendy, which when you're going up something like your butt, which is really designed to be an exit, you kind of do want some flexibility. Mm -hmm. The The beads and the silicone is firm, but with the space and the way it's made, it's... So we'll get into that in a second. Also in the box, so you've got it like this. You take out this foamy thing and you've got a charging cord and like a quick start guide. And they also have information on the outside of the box to help you. Um, so that is good. It does not have a remote. So you're gonna have to turn this on, pop it in. When you're done, pull it out, turn it off. Uh, here's your charging port. Let's see, get my head out of here. There we go. And then here's your button. This is also silicone. Um, mm -hmm. It is also waterproof. Um, it has nice. 20 vibration modes. Ooh. It um, says that it is also super duper quiet. They actually say extremely quiet. The insertable length base to tip is six and a half inches. So you're going deeper. Um, the diameter from the smallest bead to the biggest bead ranges from 0.8 inches to uh, 1.38 inches. Um, so let's talk about anal beads as well. This can look really intimidating if you are a booty newbie. Uh, <laughs> but the cool thing about anal beads, I think we talked about it in our anal training tips video, is that beads start at a small size and get bigger. Mm -hmm. So it's one toy that you can actually allow your body to adjust to over time to handle mm. larger sizes. So let's say for your very first time, all you can handle is the one bead. Well, you just stop there and don't worry about it. And then you play a little bit longer and maybe you can handle the second bead and you put, and you mm -hmm. keep inserting it until you can comfortably manage the whole thing down to the base. And again, wide flared base, so it's not getting sucked up there. The other cool thing about beads that more experienced people tend to like is that this actually creates sensation. So mm. you get it in and then you start moving it back and forth 
And now all those really sensitive mm-hmm. nerve endings up your butt are getting from small to large back and forth and then you get this rubbing motion. I have used anal beads in the past. My um, butt plug vibrator was also bead-like, so I got the benefits of all of it. There you go. And I, I did enjoy that, and I was able to start at the smallest and very slowly over time work my way up to the biggest. Mine was not this long. <laughs> Mine was, <laughs> it probably take off this bottom bead, and it was probably that with the base. It was the last anal toy I ever used. So let's turn it on it says on the box press the power button on top i guess they consider this the top for three seconds to start the vibrating anal beads the blue led light will turn on okay let's see let's find out so we're gonna holding oh yes that is super quiet that is yeah. quieter than the hot octopus toy mm-hmm. and again any i've got a three or four inches away from the microphone whatever you're hearing i probably can't even hear what you hear because i'm not as like my it's closer to the mic than it is to my ear but also whatever you hear you're not going to hear once it's up your butt i don't even think you're hearing that much Ooh, very vibrating though. very vibrator is it vibrating all the way up to the tippy top of that bead yes which is perfect which means yes. if you're a newbie you can start with that first bead and still get yep. sensation and actually can you hold it up to the camera it actually jiggles back and forth okay i don't know if it's visible yeah, yeah. it's ac- yeah i can see it now what happens now we you... want to change to the modes do you just hit the button I believe so you just hit it again that mo- oh yeah here's what i will say about that um that can be a little inconvenient while mm-hmm. you're learning the sensations because uh, it's up your butt and now you're Oops. reaching back if you're not playing with a partner to try and find what you like um, but if you're playing with a partner that's not bad they can be behind you and they can hit the button um, but once you know what uh-huh. you like I th- this one has a memory function so the way memory function tends to work is whatever setting you are on when you turn it off it will remember that setting when you turn it back on. So if you really like a setting and that's what you use, once you've used it once and found that setting, you don't have to constantly cycle through. It should remember the next time you turn it on. Oh, I think we found the pulsing modes. (laughs) Oh, put that near the mic. Can anybody hear that? That's, it is so quiet. You're over, you're three feet away from me. I can barely hear it. I, I can barely hear it here. I will I mean, say that bring... is definitely quiet. They were not now, when about I, that. When I put my hand around it, mm-hmm. like it's... It's a little bit louder. It, it's a little bit louder, but... but And that's because it's not inside your body. So again, yeah. clench down with your butt mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're not going to... You're going to feel it, but you're not going to hear it. So yeah. um, the same thing applies um, with lube here. First of all, use plenty. Okay. Please, please, please yeah. use plenty. Um, water-based lube, always the safest. A hybrid should be fine. We have never used FemFun, so I cannot say one way or the other about silicone lubes. Um, I probably would not, I would do it anyway with the ones I have waiting for me if I mm-hmm. wanted them. Um, and then the same with oil-based lubes. High quality silicone should be able to handle oil-based lubes just fine. Again, please make sure you're using a lube formulated to be a lube and not necessarily something out of your pantry. Mm -hmm. Coconut oil might be the only exception because it is kind of considered universally safe, but the fun beads also retail for $99, $99.99 to be exact. So I'm not sure I would go experimenting (laughs) with a hundred dollar toy. Go with the sure thing. Go with the sure thing, which is gonna be water-based. The only downside to water-based when you're doing anything anal is that you have to reapply. Yeah. Um, but my very first lubes were all water-based and mm-hmm. I that's when I started with anal as well. So it was not that big of a deal. Um, if you really don't like the reapplication, try a hybrid lube, which has the qualities of water-based and the qualities of silicone-based. 
in one lube, you reapply a lot less. Mm -hmm. But please, please, please use, yeah. use lube. This is super cute. Yes. This is super flexible. Um, this is not better or worse than the Plex with Flex from Hot Octopus. It's just different. And so if you like beads, this would be the one. If you like your toys to be uh, brightly colored, this would be mm -hmm. the one. If you want something bigger or you're not worried about prostate stimulation and you you know, want something that goes all the way in, this might be the one you want, but they equally feel good in the hand. Um, this feels super, super nice. Uh, if I were comparing the two, the only downside is I would love a remote. Yeah. Because once it's up there, you want it to, you want to be able to easily change the settings if you don't mm -hmm. love it. Um, but if you're playing with a partner, which hi, we're all kinksters here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that might not be a problem. Might not be so bad. Yeah. You'd be bent over something, and you know somebody come up behind you and push jiggle your this around <laughs> and literally push your buttons. Uh, I could see that being super super kinky. So this is extremely fun. So the, mm -hmm. these are the fun beads, uh, 99 99 USD current retail. Always check if you can get a coupon code, do that. Um, if we get a coupon code, we'll mm -hmm. let you know. Quick question for you on, on either of these, whether it's the, the Plex or, or that. Cleaning. So cleaning with silicone toys is super, super simple. First of all, you want to clean it before you use it because they could just have dust on it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, you know, hands have been on it. Just, just clean it real quick with soap and water before you start. Because these are waterproof, um, you can put them like underwater. What you cannot do is do the uh, sterilization sanitation sanitization thing of pop them in the dishwasher because they have motors and that yeah. will be killed by being immersed in water like that um very simple warm water and soap is really all you need if you have mm -hmm. a sex toy cleaner you really really like that's fine too um antibacterial would be ideal because these are going up your mm -hmm. butt um anal toys need extra special care when they're being cleaned because they're going up your butt and y'all poop happens it just does um so you don't want to let this get crusty you <laughs> don't want to be sloppy in how you clean it um so yeah but you can use soap and water and then you can let it air dry or you can dry it with like a microfiber cloth that's fine um but yeah cleaning is actually easier than you think you just can't there's a method for especially um, anal toys where you get the bacteria off and some people pop their toys in boiling water and some people um, put them in the top rack of the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. um, these are precluded from that because of the motors. Right, okay. 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 So you can do basic stuff. Now, if you're brave, you could probably dunk this in boiling water, but your hands are gonna get close. And then what if it drops yeah. and then you've killed a $100 toy? Don't do it, don't do it. But yeah, soap and water should be fine. Sex mm -hmm. toy cleaner. I have used sex toy cleaners on some of like my highest dollar toys. They are not as good to me as soap and water, but mm. in a pinch, so if I, since I'm not sharing my toys, yeah. I can get away with that and, and feel okay. But okay. soap and water is the best. Okay. Okay, so I think that's it for us uh, this time. <laughs> uh, between Plex, and fun beads uh, kind of runs the gamut on uh, booty options. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are looking for a new butt plug in your life, check these out. Links will be down below. Um, and yeah, if you actually like the whole idea of unboxing and showing it off, uh, even though they're not things we would normally use, uh, let us know. We'll keep doing more of it. And if you hate it, be nice about it, but just let us know. We won't ever do this again. Uh, <laughs> that is it for us this time. Um, and we will be back at another point with something else, I'm sure. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you like it enough to want to come back for more, please consider subscribing. And once you subscribe, I'd love it if you ring that notification bell to get updates and new content. Just do what daddy says. And if you really enjoy what we do, want to help us do more of it and get uh, content you're not going to get anywhere else, uh, please join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Lords. Bye. Bye.